For my first tour in this new series, I choose the stunning and dramatic scenery west of Fort William around Moidart in the Scottish Highlands. After taking the ferry across Loch Linney, we head for Strontian and Loch Sunat. Continuing west, we go inland, skirting the tip of Loch Shield to Castle Turem, located by Loch Moidart on its own tidal island, so be careful. We chase rainbows by Loch Aelort before returning home via Glenfinnan and the Harry Potter Viaduct. This motor tour out of Fort William is just under 90 miles on good roads, some single with passing places, but allow a whole day. Not worth rushing this one. Almost the entire route will be found on Ordnance Survey Land Ranger maps 40 and 41. Facilities available at Strontian and Glenfinnan. Travel south on A82 from Fort William to Curran Ferry. Frequent service. Car fare in 2021 eight pounds eighty pence. Leaving ferry turn left and follow A eight six one to Strontian via Glen Tarbot. At head of Loch Sunart, detour for one mile on A eight eight four for views across Loch to Strontian. Helped by a near perfect reflection, I particularly liked the mirrored outlines of the mountain landscape. Good views also from Head of Loch on A861 before taking a break at Strontium. Facilities include a shop and refreshments. Continue on A861 for five miles to Ardery Car Park for Loch Sunart. Good views and a woodland walk, and being a sea lock, seaweed carefully deposited and arranged by tides for a resting foregrounds. A bit further on at Salon, we bid farewell to Loch Sunart that has been our companion for the last hour, soon passing the river outlet for Loch Shiel, which later becomes an important part of our tour at Glenfinnan. After Shield Bridge, and not before, take next left to Cliff and Castle Turum. This road is a cul-de-sac, but there is a car park at the far end, but no toilets, however, plenty of bushes. As already noted, the castle is on a tidal island, so don't get caught out. Continue forward on foot from the car park either to the castle or around the corner for a different aspect of Loch Moidart. This landscape, given the right weather, offers the photographer plenty of lighting opportunities and not just of the castle. Wonderful location for lunch, but remember, no facilities. Retracing wheels. Now, just before rejoining Main Road, you will spot an attractive bridge on the right at Cliff. There is just sufficient room to park, albeit briefly, one car, and it is permissible to walk onto that bridge, but no further. At Main Road, turn left along the northern shore of Loch Moidart, overpass to Loch Aelort. On the descent, there are some fine views towards Rum and Egg, evoking the music of Felix Mendelssohn and his Hebrides Overture.
Loch Eilot seems to be a favourable spot for rainbows, which I have witnessed on more than one occasion. There is room for off-road parking without causing a problem. Not there is much traffic here. Continue to the junction with the A830, the road to the Isles, constructed by Telford in the 19th century, and turn right, soon passing Loch Elt, where you might be lucky in spotting a train passing on the opposite bank, before reaching Glenfinnan for its car park, facilities, National Trust for Scotland shop, and of course, an information centre. Here, competing for our attention is that viaduct, yes, that viaduct used in the Harry Potter movies. And there's also the monument to Bonnie Prince Charlie, a symbol of the Jacobite Rising of 1745. However, if no train is due, don't miss the walk to the monument and lock. Now that bit is free, but you must purchase a ticket first from the shop if you wish to go up the tower. Come late in the day when the daylight hours are shortening and you get some spectacular lighting down the lock. You can also take a path behind the information centre that climbs steeply to a viewpoint, but the path is rather uneven and rough. Approaching Loch Eel, detour on the A861 for one mile for wonderful views down the lock to Ben Nevis. Because of the railway, taking photographs across the lock from its northern bank is difficult, but this obstacle is removed at Corpac, where the Caledonian Canal starts its journey to Inverness, the first highlight being Neptune's staircase at Bonnevie. Fort William is another mile, turn right onto A82 for town centre and finish.